Hi, I'm Amber from Epic Self, and I'm here at the Green Festival in San Francisco with executive chef of Millennium Restaurant, Eric Tucker. Thank you so much for joining us, Eric. No problem. Um, tell us a little bit about Millennium Restaurant and how it got started. Well, uh, we've been doing Millennium 16 plus years. Uh, how it got started, it's the offshoot of a restaurant in San Rafael called, where it used to be a restaurant called Millie's. And we had an opportunity to go into San Francisco, and they wanted to be the helm of the restaurant. And I've been doing it ever since, and uh, now one of the owners. And so, how has the, the vegan or vegetarian diet? How has it changed your life and your health? Well, eating principally plant-based um, has it changed my health again. Back, what got first got me into this, eat, want to eat this way, was I had um, hypoglyc issues with hypoglycemia. And the prevailing wisdom of the time was eat meat like seven seven times a day, which really went counterintuitive. Of, uh, of, I was a burgeoning distance runner, and um, went counterintuitive to learning about carbohydrate loading and eating carbohydrates and stuff like that. So that got me into the healthy aspects of eating and kind of searching out what worked for me. And you know, just for me, eating principally that direction, you know. Keeps me sustained energy. I mean, I, I'm still, I've been doing this forever and I'm still doing my 12 hour days. And lately it's been like six days a week and I'm still on the bike uh, getting up to the hills. Wow. So, how do you suggest people start to eat more plants, make them taste better, and incorporate them into their family life? Well, I think one of the key things is to not, not make it seem like it's drudgery, it's something you have to do because. You know, if you, you you're gonna get feel better exclusively for that, that's uh, you, you gotta want to do that. You gotta enjoy eating, enjoy cooking, and, and finding ways to get people to do that. And where where the flavor is in, in like you know even animal based cuisine, where does it all come from? Really, it comes from the seasonings, the plant based uh, stuff. And, and you go to any farmer's market, what's there? It's vegetables, and that's you want to learn about that stuff. There's so much information. And you want to become passionate and, and become excited about that. And that that's the best thing I can offer people is you get excited about it, want to cook, cook. Don't make it so it's just oh, drudgery, i got to do a bunch of whatever. So if, sure, if you need to take shortcuts, fine, open a can of beans, not a big deal. But yeah, and, and focus on vegetables you know, versus like some of the meat analogs and stuff like that and just learn about that stuff. So what are some resources that you would point people to to really start to get going in terms of cooking vegan vegetarian food? What are your recommendations? Well, my recommendations are, are not necessarily about resources on, on doing solely plant-based, but resources on, on learning about the different vegetables and stuff like going to the farmer's market. Um, usually there's resource guides there that show what's in season when. Um, and, uh, you know, there are Books too numerous to name that are maybe strict veg vegan, maybe may not be that are vegetable centric, and, and show you about how to cook with beans, grains, and there's so many out there, and there's some easy ones, there's some comprehensive ones like like Millennium Cookbooks. They'll take you all day. That's why you come to the restaurant and just learn from there. You know. Thank you so much for being with us, Eric, and um, I enjoy your food so much, and I always bring, whenever I have guests coming into town, we go to Millennium first, so if you've not checked out the Millennium restaurant, please do so. It's the number one voted vegetarian restaurant in San Francisco, so thank you so much, Eric, for being with us. Well, thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.